Hey, good afternoon and welcome. Uh, welcome to the Minnesota Department of Agriculture. Uh, today, Secretary Vilsack is announcing over 100 high-impact high conservation partnership projects across all 50 states, including Minnesota, that will include more than $370 million as part of the new Regional Conservation Partnership Program authorized in the new Federal Farm Bill. The Regional Conservation Partnership Program is a radically different approach to investing in natural resource conservation. This program empowers local communities and demonstrates the importance of strong public-private partnerships in delivering local solutions to tough natural resource problems. In Minnesota, in true Minnesota fashion, we don't shy away from tackling tough challenges. We seek ways to make things work better, to make them more efficient, understand and implement common sense practical solutions. In the agriculture natural resource world, we recognize that there are tensions and competing priorities when it comes to water quality. Agriculture, as we all know, is an important part of our economic vitality in this state, providing more than 75 billion in economic activity and supporting over 340,000 jobs. As Minnesotans, we also value the health of our rivers, lakes, and streams. Our water features are an important part of our social fabric as Minnesotans and are deeply ingrained in our quality of life. All too often, we get stuck in the false choice of either or. In this administration, it's not an either or. We believe that strong, a strong agricultural economy and healthy rivers, lakes, and streams can prosper together. This is what has made Minnesota an ideal location to launch the Voluntary Ag Water Quality Certification Program initiative. Minnesota's Ag Water Quality Certification Program is designed to accelerate progress towards water quality goals in our states, lakes, rivers, and streams while making conservation regulations more predictable and less cost pro uh, prohibitive for Minnesota farmers. Farmers enrolled in the program who implement and maintain approved farm uh, management practices are certified by the state and in turn assured that their operations meet water quality goals and standards for a period of 10 years. So Minnesota, get, Minnesota gets enhanced water quality and farmers get needed recognition, assistance, and certainty. It's a win-win that's too rare in today's public discourse. The Ag Water Quality Certification Program has been piloted in four watersheds across the state, the Whitewater River, the Middle Sock River, Elm Creek, and Whiskey Creek. We've been certifying for six months and we're seeing strong interest among Minnesota farmers who want to enroll in the program. The pilot project has already certified 28 agricultural operations, representing over 10,000 acres of farmland, and have another 260 farmers who are in some stage of the certification process. And, among, uh, and the interest among farmers continues to grow. Now I'd like to introduce and give a very warm welcome to our acting NRCS State Conservation, Walter Albron, who will introduce the Regional Conservation Partnership Program. And following Mr. Albron, uh, Commissioner Fredrickson will announce the details of the new national project. Uh, thank you, Matt. Good afternoon to everyone, and thank you for hosting us here today. Uh, the United States Department of Agriculture uh, Natural Resources Conservation Service is highly energized by the overwhelming response to the Regional Conservation Partnership Program. And this is important because it speaks to the volumes of the commitment to conservation and the conserva conservation ethic that runs deep through this nation. Uh, earlier today, about uh, an hour or so ago, our Secretary of Agriculture, Tom Bilsack, announced over over 100 high-impact projects across all 50 states and the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico that will receive over $370 million of funding through this, for this RCPP program. That includes three projects here in the state of Minnesota. Uh, first, the Minnesota Agricultural Water Quality Certification Program. The lead partner for this project is the 
the Minnesota Department of Agriculture. Another project that we have is the Improving Forest Health for Wildlife Resources. The lead partner for this is the American Bird Conservancy. And this is a, a project that crosses st uh, state boundaries into the state of Wisconsin and Michigan. So it's a, basically a Minnesota, Wisconsin, and, and Michigan project. And then we have the Red River Basin of the North Flood Prevention Plan. The lead partner for this is the Red River Retention Authority. And this is a, a project that also crosses state boundaries into North Dakota. So it's a Minnesota and uh, North Dakota. And I think it's important to mention also that uh, in all these projects, there are additional partners collaborating. Uh, in the Minnesota Board and Water uh, and the uh, Agricultural Water Quality Cer Certification Program, we have uh, other partners such as the Board of Water and Soil Resources, the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources, uh, Pollution Control Agency, Environmental Initiative, and the McKnight, McKnight Foundation. And for the three projects that we have here in Minnesota, you know, to make the cut, it was not easy. Uh, the selection process of these, you know, uh, projects started with about uh, close to 600 uh, pre-proposals. And with, you know, it was uh, many great projects with many great ideas, making the process, you know, extremely competitive. Initially, there were a total of funding requests of about $2.8 billion and uh, leveraging nearly $3 billion uh, in funding from partners. And just the funding request that NRC had received at in initially was over six times the amount of funding available. And uh, so, you know, NRCS had to work very hard to evaluate all of these proposals and uh, ranking them based on their innovation, the partnership capacity, ability to leverage non-federal resources, and of course, conservation benefits and getting conservation on the ground. And uh, our three projects, you know, selected here uh, excel in all of these. Uh, the Agriculture Water, Water Quality Cert Certification Program is one project that because of its characteristics will serve as a national demonstration. Basically, you know, the whole nation will be watching for the, you know, the progress of this project and uh, you know, the outcomes and challenges. Uh, and you know, the, with the funding from the RCPP, we will be able to expand and, and widen this, this uh, uh, water quality certification program to uh, take it into, you know, from the initial uh, four small watersheds, pilot project areas into, you know, take it statewide and be able to benefit all of our agricultural producers in the state of Minnesota. And uh, I think it's also important because, you know, this project is, would help producers be proactive about addressing, you know, water quality, uh, soil erosion, as well as other uh, resource concerns. But it's also taking a very, uh, a very proactive approach in helping them deal with uh, upcoming, you know, regulatory requirements. And this is a very, you know, concerning topic, very concerning topic, not only in the state of Minnesota, but also in, the, you know, across the nation, uh, basically, as, you know, when these uh, new upcoming regulations are uh, roll out and enforced, you know, they can have uh, significant financial impacts to our agricultural operations. So basically, this would give them uh, peace of mind and certainty that, you know, during the time that they're certified, they're not going to have to worry about, you know, these upcoming regulations. And I think this would, you know, this would help develop good working relationship with, the, with them, you know, now, and it's also going to help us in our conservation efforts in the future by having this good working relationship with these producers. So uh, because of that, you know, I'm, I'm really glad and proud that NRCS uh, gets to be part of this. And uh, as Matt mentioned earlier, you know, the RCPP is a radically different approach to investing in uh, natural resource conservation. It empowers local communities and demonstrates the importance of strong public-private partnerships in developing solutions to tough natural resource challenges. I think we, we're having a great start. Uh, we encourage partners to pursue their plans 
and you know to keep this momentum going I look forward and hearing about you know many other upcoming uh, projects I look forward about uh, hearing about the successes of uh, of our three projects here in Minnesota and uh, we look forward or being part of this success so thank you very much Next, I want to uh, introduce uh, Commissioner Dave Fredrickson. Thank you, Matt, and uh, thank all of you uh, for taking the time uh, to be here today. This is really an important uh, time for the department. Uh, we, we are so proud to uh, be joined by our partner agencies and USDA's Natural Resource Conservation Services in building a precedent-setting new approach to water quality stewardship in Minnesota. Uh, today I'm honored to announce a Regional Conservation Partnership Program, RCPP, award being made to our first-of-a-kind Minnesota Ag Water Quality Certification Program. Uh, Assistant Commissioner Matt Woolman has well described the vision and the reality of our uh, unique certification program and how it was uh, founded um, upon an inherent partnership ethic. Uh, today we are joined by the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency, the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources and the Board of Water and Soil Resources uh, to share in the recognition of the Minnesota Ag Water Quality Certification Program as a new national demonstration uh, project. I want to thank uh, DNR Commissioner Tom Landwehr uh, for being here today assist and uh, also uh, MPCA Commissioner uh, Rebecca Flood for also being here today and uh, Board of Water and Soil Resources John Jasky for being here also. We were all part of early on discussions uh, on a cold uh, evening out at a hotel near the airport where we sat down and uh, and discuss the possibility of this program coming together. Governor Dayton has always insisted uh, that the state agencies work hard together, and I think this is a classic example of uh, partners of working together. And you know what? I kind of enjoyed it. So uh, look forward to the next go around. Uh, and it was the leadership of Governor Dayton that established the very existence of our Minnesota Ag Water Quality Certification Program that we are here uh, celebrating today as a model for the rest of the nation. When the governor brought our federal partners, including USDA Secretary Tom Vilsack to Minnesota on another very cold January day in 2012 to join in signing a memorandum of understanding that actually created the Minnesota Ag Water Quality Certification Program, it was clear that something special was indeed taking place. I might uh, remark on the fact that uh, Secretary Vilsack is in Arizona this January day for celebrating the uh, RCPP uh, program. I'm sure that uh, that was a non-weather related decision. Uh, we have learned much and we will uh, learn more yet from our current pilot areas across the state. The eagerness, the expertise of those pilots uh, to join in this partnership and lead the effort locally is still one more reason why we are receiving this award. And I want to thank the leaders of those uh, watershed districts. They stepped up to the plate early uh, and have been uh, here uh, with the program uh, through thick and thin. And so thank you so much for your leadership. First, we're a little worried, you know, will people step up? My goodness, did you ever step up? So it's exciting to see you here and, and hopefully you feel the same way about uh, the program as it's moving forward. Of course, announcing the uh, RCPP award is not just a celebration uh, for our partners and past work, it is indeed the road forward. This uh, RCPP uh, will do as, uh, as many things for this state and the nation as there are partners who are and who are willing to, are there and who are willing to participate. It will bring $9 million uh, to Minnesota, every dollar of which will be invested in greater Minnesota, supporting and making it possible for farms to achieve the water quality stewardship goals that they share. And I want to just acknowledge someone uh, sitting in the card, Mark Mueller, uh, from the McKnight Foundation. Uh, the McKnight Foundation was gracious uh, and generous uh, to put some seed money forward uh, at the early uh, on uh, early onset of the program and they invested ten dollars and just look what it's grown to today <laughs> so we want to thank you no mark uh, thank you so much for your early involvement in this program it's been key and critical uh, as we move forward with our partners and you should be standing up here also by the way shame on you are you a lutheran you go right to the back of the booth don't you 
uh, it will uh, indeed expand the delivery of certification services beyond the three uh, present uh, percent of Minnesota growers that are within the pilot boundaries. It will further the Minnesota Ag Water Quality Certification State Investment and in Conservation in support of and through local soil and water conservation districts. And again, Leanne, thank you for being here today and being part of this. It will provide statewide opportunity for farmers, uh, water resource planners, agribusiness, ag retailers, advisors, marketers, and many more to leverage certification as a tool for achieving watershed and sustainability goals. It'll protect and enhance habitat and the recreation opportunities that have always defined Minnesota's quality of life and must continue for generations to come. And it will continue to demonstrate that Minnesota's and our nation's farms and waters can indeed prosper together. Ultimately, what today is about and what this award will enable Minnesota to demonstrate to the rest of the country is that our farmers deserve recognition and certification for the invaluable and unheralded work they rise every morning to do. And one of uh, our program participants said, you know, when I go to the dentist, they have a certification on the wall that said I'm a certified dentist. When I go to the marriage counselor, they have one up there that says I'm a certified marriage counselor. Why can't I have a certificate that says I'm a certified farmer? Now they can get one. Today, uh, we have uh, two farm families uh, who have participated in the certification program and have agreed to join us today. First, I want to introduce Glenn Haig. Uh, Glenn and his uh, spouse Tammy run Chosen Acres, a beef, corn, soybean, and alfalfa operation. Some of the conservation practices included on their farm include contour buffer strips, water and sediment control basins, grass waterways and filter strips. Through this program, nine additional conservation practices were added to their operation to participate in the Minnesota Ag Water Quality Certification Program. Glenn is active in the local ag community. He serves as a member of the Whitewater Watershed Project uh, Farmer-Led Council. So please uh, help me welcome uh, Glenn, uh, and Glenn will give you a little bit of uh, background on his operation. Thank you, Glenn. Well, Dave just stole all my thunder. That's exactly what I was going to say, so I, I'm not sure what to tell you. No, um, my wife and I operate. We're a third-generation family farm, so conservation has been a big part of our life, um, you know, even in previous generations. Uh, Great-grandpa, he, he uh, did a lot of the terracing on our operation. Um, his, his boy, too, um, continued on with that, uh, increasing waterways, filter strips. And now we've taken another step further and upgraded to uh, more recent conservation practices as far as terracing and, and waterways and spraying technologies, uh, you know, just advancing with the new day and age, uh, trying to implement more and more of these practices into our, into our operation. So we're not afraid to try and, and utilize the SWCD. Um, I need to mention Mark here. He's, he's um, kind of taken the brunt of this in Winona County. And um, <clears throat> me being on the board and, and part of the watershed, I said, you know, we need to find out what this program's all about. You know, this was written by a bunch of people I don't know and, and uh, um, whether or not they understand what farming really is. And, and so we dove into it using my farm as a, as a practice farm and uh, found some issues with the program to begin with. And so it was kind of nice to be in on the, on the floor level and, and make those changes. You know, this is a pilot program and that's what it's designed to do is, is create and, and do new things to make, make uh, more certified acres available. So that's what we kind of did. We did some tweaking and, and did find out with all the conservation we do have on our farm, you know, we had places where we could improve and, and so we did. And, and we ended up getting certified and, and doing the things that, you know, needed to, needed to be done. So here again, it's a, it's a program that can be utilized on a large farm. I mean, we run uh, 500 acres we own and we rent 300. So it's a fairly decent size operation and uh, have cattle and, and manure to deal with also. So it's, it's kind of a balance that we need to, to do and, and understand how to, how to implement all those practices together. And the SWCD has done a good job of helping us do that and design ways to do that. So I thank them for, for being uh, a good part of that. And also I'd like to thank the, the legislation here for bringing forth that funding 
um, to uh, get more people involved in, in uh, certifying their acres because there are a lot of, lot of real good farmers out there that, that will be certified in the near future. And I didn't realize that there were that many acres already there. Mark has gotten ahead of me here uh, in the past couple of weeks. So um, it's nice to see that we are getting more interest in that program and, and we're doing more advertising of that program now. So I think we're going to see a, a great growth in that. So again, I'd like to thank the legislation for, for stepping forward here and, and granting us that opportunity to extend this program further. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Glenn, for your early involvement in the program and helping to guide it uh, as you have over the past several months and weeks. Uh, please, again, uh, please meet uh, Eric and Lisa Klein. Eric and Lisa. Uh, Eric and Lisa operate uh, Hidden Stream Farms. It's a 250-acre a farm of corn hay barley rotation with contour strip cropping. They graze 85 acres of pasture for their grass-fed cattle and use corn to feed their 400 uh, head uh, feeder pig operation. Their meats are direct uh, marketed to restaurants. Eric and Lisa work with the uh, Wabasha County SWCD and NRCS for assistance installing a waterway and nutrient management plan. So again, uh, thank you for being here and you're gonna be the spokesperson today, I great. I so. <laughs> um, we're Lisa and Eric. Um, we farm, like he said, near Elgin. We're in the Whitewater watershed. Um, we raise, we don't use any chemicals on our farm. Um, so we are basically organic without being certified and we use all of our crops to raise our animals, which we direct market. Um, through farmers market and we do restaurants and food service and um, co-ops um, and all these people are, are very environmentally conscious that we sell to so one of the things that we liked about the water quality program is our customers care about the environment this is a way to show them that we care about it and other people have recognized what we do my dad started over 40 years ago with the contour strips and um, the natural, more sustainable farming. And so we're proud to carry that on and, and we hope with the help of this program, um, we can continue improving our farm for our kids who we have six and half of them say they want to farm. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's, a, it's an important thing that we can use at our farmers markets. We mainly do Rochester, but everybody there, you know, that's there always asking you know, how do you raise your animals? Do you spray your crops? How do you take care of the environment? And we use a lot of pictures and signage, and this is just another thing that we can use to um, sell what we do. 